Good morning and happy St. Patrick's Day to you. We're here at Disney Springs on St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. Do they have a lot of St. Patrick's Day stuff going on here? Yeah, we're excited to try some treats. Yeah. And see what else they have going on for St. Patrick's Day. Right? There's kind of a lot. Yeah. Also, we're wearing green. Yeah. You're wearing your Simpsons shirt. I, I feel like The Simpsons is owned by Disney now, right? Yeah. So this counts. Yeah, it does. Yeah, okay. Also, it's <laughs> nice and breezy. It is a little hot today. It's 79 right now, but it has a, a nice breeze going. Mm -hmm. So let's head inside and see what we see. As we were coming in, there were definitely a lot of people coming into Disney Springs, but now that we're in here, it doesn't look too crowded. There are kind of a few people around, but it's not like packed yet. Just passing by Vera Bradley, and I noticed that they have the new Minnie Mouse print. Look at this backpack, it's cool looking. Oh, it's a cooler. Wow, that's a good idea. $100, fully insulated on the inside. It's like a canvas material rather than their traditional like cotton material. So it seems like it would hold up a little bit better. All right, our first stop is Deluxe Burger where we're gonna get the Dubliner Burger, which is a signature blend beef patty topped with Dubliner cheddar, corned beef, shoestring fried onions, Irish stout barbecue sauce, lettuce, and grilled onions. That's available the 1st of March to the 31st of March. <laughs> so here's what we got. We got the Dubliner burger, and then we got the buffalo chicken sandwich, which I didn't realize has bacon on it. This looks awesome. So we're gonna split each of these, and Jackson's gonna eat his french fries. He already ate his sandwich, but he, might, he loves french fries. Well, I think he might have some of the burger. Oh yeah. The chicken sandwich is spicy, so I don't want to give him that one. But I think he might like some of the burger. What do you think, <laughs> bud? Are you a silly Billy? Yeah. He said, Mommy, I'm a silly little baby. The thing that happened that we didn't really understand is when we ordered the chicken sandwich, they're like, what kind of dipping sauce do you want? And we got buffalo ranch. It's really good, but it, I think it's already on the sandwich. So yeah. we've, been, we've been dipping our fries in it. Yeah. No, no. Ow. <laughs> so we mobile ordered and it took about 10 minutes for our food to be ready. It wasn't bad at all. Um, I think that you can do cash orders inside, but they prefer that you mobile order. And if you don't know how to mobile order, there's a cash member out front that'll help you with all that stuff. But I'm excited to try this, the Dubliner. So the one thing I will say is that the one side, so we split it in half. So Jen has one side and I have the other side. And the back side that was at the bottom of the wrapper got real soaked with oils and stuff from the corned beef but maybe that'll make it better. You never know, let's give it a try. That's a really good burger, it's pretty salty, but it has a lot of really good flavors in it. I feel like it's not the best burger that I've had from Deluxe, but I can't remember what the best burger is at the moment. Oh yeah, that holiday burger, that turkey burger was really good. This is good though, I like this a lot. I feel like I'm saying that this isn't the best burger that I've ever had at Deluxe, but every burger that I've had at Deluxe has been good. <laughs> I've never had a bad burger here. So the onions give it like a nice little sweet taste too, to like the saltiness of it. This is great. So one thing that I want, and I think after tasting this burger I want it, is I want a burger that's made with ground corned beef and regular beef. Is that possible? Is such a thing even possible? Because I feel like that would be really good. Also another thing that I wanted to point out is that like the it's it's kind of like more well done than I would normally get. But it's still still very juicy and very tender. It's not like hard to eat. I, don't know. I would totally order this again. Final verdict on the Dubliner. Delicious. Corned beef was kind of like a bacon substitute, I would call it. Like it was very bacon-esque, but it wasn't bacon. Um it was super greasy. That burger was probably one of the greasiest burgers I've ever had in my life. I feel like I need to wash my entire face and all of my hands. <laughs> Jen said that the crispy onions were her favorite part of the burger as like a nice little sweet balance to the saltiness of the beef and the corned beef. All right, now we're moving on to the chicken sandwich. So now this chicken sandwich is not part of the St. Patrick's Day celebration here at Disney Springs. We just wanted to try it because we had the best chicken sandwich we've ever had at Everglades. And we wanted to see how this one compares. And I'm, I hope that it, it dwarfs it, but I have a feeling that it won't. Let's see. I wanted to show you how the breading looks. The breading does look similar to the chicken at Everglades. 
But the other one, I don't know, this one because it's got blue cheese and stuff on it. The other one was just better. The chicken was a, a better cut of chicken. It was juicier. There's more flavor to it. This one's good. So I will say that even though it's a buffalo chicken sandwich, so far I haven't gotten any spice out of it. So the thing that's supposed to be spicy about it is like this, this orange sauce up here. And I think that that's the buffalo ranch that we're dipping our french fries in. But I'm not getting a lot of spice out of it. Now, I like the other chicken sandwich much, much better. So if you're coming to Disney Springs and you're looking for a good chicken sandwich, Everglazed. If you're looking for a good burger though, come here. Delicious. So I will say that the bacon on this chicken sandwich is really good. And I wish that it was on the Dubliner, like the corned beef and bacon on there. I think that would be probably a lot of meat, but I think it would be very good. Um, after a few bites, I did get some of the spice from the Buffalo Ranch over here. So as we're leaving right outside of Deluxe Burger, I noticed they have a sign here and there's only two things on the sign. A Southern Burger? This looks amazing. It has fried green tomatoes, bacon, and pimento cheese. I love all of those things. And I want to try this the next time that we eat here. But they also have the smoked bourbon gelato shake. That looks really interesting. Now we are headed over to Amaretz for their St. Patrick's Day offerings. I'm excited because Amaretz always has delicious items. Can't wait to see what it is. So here's a place that definitely has a queue set up because they're anticipating a crowd. Amaretz. You can see they've got all of their stanchions out front. There's no crowd yet, but I have a feeling there will be later. They're just getting prepared for it. Yeah. We're gonna get you a better look at it in just a second because we ordered one, but this is the Pot O' Gold Cream Puff. Chocolate cream puff filled with Irish cream, white chocolate mousse, and whiskey caramel sauce, garnished with chocolate crisp pearls and sour candy rainbow. This is also, we showed this last time, but this is the Flan Cocho. This is the Her Story one. Chocolate cake topped with vanilla custard and caramel sauce, garnished with a chocolate disc topped with a dried strawberry slice, pink macaron, and edible flour. Here it is, the cream puff. This was $9.59. I like how gold it is on the top. The telltale sign of St. Patrick's Day, green hats on a trash can. All right, here's the look at the inside of our cream puff. Looks real nice. You can see that caramel in there. I don't know, I'm kind of excited to taste it. I don't know that I really like Irish whiskey caramel, but we'll give it a try. So it is busy enough here at Disney Springs today that we could not find a table near Amaretz or anywhere even in the eateries around Amaretz, there wasn't any tables. So we're just kind of over in a shaded area. We're gonna try this. It is, um, looks kind of gooey. Looks yeah. a little messy. I did taste a little bit of the cream inside and it does have like a heavy kind of an alcoholy flavor, which is, you know, to be expected with what's inside of it. But um, I don't know, should we try it? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take off the little top things. I think it's a good call. I don't know that the like, because the, the rainbow thing is like a sour gummy strip. Mm. I don't know that it goes. I think that it's just like a nice decoration, decoration for it. Okay. So the darker, like little cream on the inside is the one that's more of the alcohol flavor. Yeah, I think it's like an Irish whiskey caramel. Right. Um, so because there's more of the other thing, which was what, do you remember? I think it was just Irish, Irish, uh, mood, Irish, Irish cream. cream. That, it, it's, it cuts the flavor of the alcohol, so it's actually really nice. Okay. It's super cool and refreshing, and especially on a day like today where it's very warm out. This is nice. Yeah. I like this, and I love the little crunchy balls. Oh. They add a really nice texture. I like the crunch. So, what does this do you think? I think it's just like a strip of chocolate. Is it chocolate? That was really nice. This is great. No. Oh. We forgot to get napkins. <laughs> I would eat this on a regular day, like not even just on St. Patrick's Day. Nice. Oh, 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 I'm already, it's already dropping all over the place. It is very like alcohol flavored. I know that there's not any alcohol in here because they burned it all off, but it still has the taste of it. It's very interesting. The caramel I, does have like a, a sweet whiskey flavor. I didn't think that it was very alcoholic once you got into the, the cream. That really cuts the the alcohol flavor. Yeah, 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 I see that. That's good. I would like it with just a regular cream though. I think they like make that as well. Like without the caramel. Yeah. And yeah. I think they do have that on their menu. This was just the seasonal item for today, St. Patrick's Day. The green hats on the trash can just fell over. Oh no. Another sign of St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> oh, we have to go walk over near um, Raglan Road. I wanted to see how that party was going. 
Yeah. We ran into some people who actually said that they were waiting for their time. They were they had a 2 p.m. time slot, so they are doing reservations. You have to have a reservation. Mm-hmm. And they said... I think it so, was two hours. Yeah, well, so we talked to a cast member there. They said, we're doing a strict limit of two hours. But then on the website, it says, we'd like for you to only stay two hours. Gotcha. So we'll, I don't, I mean, we're not going to see, but I don't know which one it is. Yeah. Well, we'll go check out the crowd level at least. So where we ate that puff was over here by the Lego store. Look at this line for the Lego store. It's pretty intense. We got a lot of people waiting for Lego. Next stop for St. Patrick's Day is Vivoli Il Gelato. Mostly because I want to get this green velvet shake. Cake batter gelato, green velvet cake, whipped cream, and cannoli cream. Ooh. Sounds ridiculous. There's a sign in here that says what the difference between gelato and ice cream is. So gelato is made with more whole milk than cream, has a rich flavor, around five to seven percent fat, churned slower to have less air, made fresh daily, stored around 15 degrees, so a little bit warmer than ice cream, and a smoother, silkier texture. That's interesting. So it's healthier, healthier than ice cream. That's the way that I'm reading this. They're making our shake back there. This is my shake that I got. And then Jen got an affogato that was a matcha tea affogato and was supposed to be green, but not green at all. I'll put a picture of it on the screen of what they showed online. Um, mine's a little less green than that. <laughs> right? Mine's not, mine's very green. So with the affogato, it's matcha tea, and then you get to pick two kinds of gelato. She recommended that I do um, either vanilla or chocolate chip, and so I did both because you get two scoops. So I did the vanilla and chocolate chip and matcha tea avocado. Huh. I'm not getting very much of the matcha tea at all. It's just tasting very much like a vanilla and chocolate chip um, melted milkshake almost. It is very smooth and silky. They're right about that. What do you see? The umbrella. I think he sees there's planes doing the like word, the writing of the words on the in the sky. You know, he sees those. Um, now they do have avocados that are just regular like espresso. I think I would try that next time. I mean, this isn't like I wouldn't order this again. This is interesting because it's cake batter. There's like chunks of cake in here. It almost looks like a slushy. It's good though. I what like is it, it. What, does it have like a green? Like, is there any? I don't know what the green is, but is the it, flavor is cake batter. Okay, so there's like, no it like, like cake. mint or anything pistachio. It's just the color. It's just aesthetically green. Aesthetically green, but there are chunks of cake in there. Okay. It's pretty good. I don't know that I would order it again. Yeah. Because it's very like very cake battery. Well, I feel like if I'm gonna get a milkshake, I'm gonna get like chocolate. You know. Or Oreo. I love Oreo. And then what's the thing on top? It looks like cornbread. It is a green velvet cake. Oh, okay. Green velvet. Oh, wow. That is so sweet. Yeah. Holy cow. It's almost hard to suck through the straw because there's so much cake batter in there. Like actual cake pieces. In right. It. it kind of has a cornbread flavor. Cornbread? Yeah. Are you just saying that because you thought that the little cake looked like cornbread? No. It tastes kind of corny. Also, this cream on the top is cannoli cream. Oh, is it? Yeah. I was wondering why it wasn't like melting off. Right? Gideon's for St. Patrick's Day has an Andy's mint chocolate chip cookie, but I have to ask and see if it still has availability because they sell out of cookies very frequent. Also, we're coming up on Raglan Road, which is a very popular place to come on St. Patrick's Day. I actually can't see inside of Raglan Road because they have it all fenced off with bushes here. We can kind of see how they have it set up inside of here. You can see there's some good distance between the tables. There was just a band playing and they just finished it. So I came down here to show it, but he's gone. So this year it's the Mighty Festival Unplugged and you need to have a reservation and it's a $10 cover. Right. Oh, you got a hat. I got you a hat because oh. you don't have a cool hat. Heck yeah, this is great. Yeah, I just asked him. This part I here. Yeah, you look awesome. Is the sun behind me? How do I look? You look really cool. And he gave me this. Oh, happy yeah. St. Patrick's Day. So he said I didn't have enough green on. Oh. So let me put this on. So now you've got a green pin. There you go. Now you're wearing just enough green. I'm honorary Irish, he said. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Next step on our St. Patrick's Day adventure is the ganachery. They have a Mickey leprechaun pinata, 65% dark chocolate sphere filled with the golden marshmallows. 
Ooh. Also, they have Irish cream ganache, rich Irish cream liquor with milk chocolate, and Irish whiskey. Jameson blended with creamy milk chocolate. I gotta figure out what the golden marshmallows are. So we found out what the golden marshmallows are. They're regular marshmallows dipped in milk chocolate and coated with a gold dust. Sounds good. This is a $28 item though. So we've actually done one of those chocolate pinatas before and we'll put a link to that video in the description down below. Super fun, but also $28 is pretty pricey. Another thing, that hat, I had to take it off. It was very hot. So I'm all sweaty, even though I was inside that, that building in the air conditioning for a few minutes. Still very sweaty with the hat on. So we made it to a fork in the road. We're actually headed back to the car, but if you continued this way, you would end up at City Works all the way at the other end of Disney Springs. So over at City Works, they have a corned beef Reuben, which has shaved corned beef, champagne sauerkraut, whiskey mustard, Irish stout onions, gear, and marble rye. Uh, they also have a shepherd's pie, which is a stout braised ground beef, peas, carrots, onions, shredded cabbage, and potato puree which both sound really good, but also really filling for a hot day like this. The last stop is over here at Yasake, and they have, I believe this is a peppermint patty? No, I think that they have something different for St. Patrick's Day, but that could work. Green lemonade topped with peppermint sprinkles. Let me see if I can find what they have for St. Patrick's Day. So that is what they're offering for St. Patrick's Day. I was just a little bit confused because on Disney Parks blog, they mentioned that it's a slush with mint, lemonade, and blue carousel syrup. So that's why I, it didn't say that on the sign there. It just said that it was like a green lemonade. So it's offered in alcoholic and non-alcoholic. And that's just something that they're offering here at Yasake. Looks like they're offering it all the time, but you can get it for St. Patrick's Day because it's green. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Disney Springs for all things St. Patrick's Day. And a couple of other things. Yeah, we tried <laughs> a chicken sandwich. It was just okay. It wasn't as good as the sandwich over at every place. I think Ooh. of everything that we had today, my favorite thing was the Dubliner burger. Yeah, I think so. That was delicious. Um, the burgers at Deluxe are, are really good. Yeah. So if you're in town for St. Patrick's Day, a lot of the stuff that we showed today is available for more than just today. Yeah. So we'll put a link to the Disney Park blog article where you can see all the dates and things that are available here at Disney Springs for St. Patrick's Day down in the description down below. I will say this about our trip to Disney Springs today. The crowd level was much higher than it would typically be on a weekday. On a, because today is Wednesday. Right. But because it's spring break, because it's a holiday, we did have those holiday crowd levels. Yeah. And I also noticed that there was less mask compliance on this trip than we would normally see. Yeah. So a lot of people wearing their masks, or I saw a couple of people just not wearing masks at all. So it was definitely a different experience than we would typically see here at Disney Springs, mm -hmm. but it was still manageable. Yeah, we still had a really good time. Yeah. So all in all, a fantastic day out at Disney Springs. With that being said, we are off, and we'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>